Alrighty, and here's a video review for a set that I've been waiting for. Uh, I already have the original, the PE-11 Scouting Force X. Here's PE-12 Assault Force X. But before we get into the main uh, contents of this box, uh, he does come with a little bonus here. And that is the PE-11 Mini SFX here. Uh, there's just a perfect effect logo on the back. And I've already opened it up. Uh, it's just a little poly bag version of... A rather odiferous, uh, and by odiferous I mean it's not a, it's not bad. It just it smells. It smells like plastic uh, and resin or whatever. It's got a very strong reek to it. That'll fade over time, uh, but just know when you open that bag, you're going to go, what what what, what is that? Um, but it's a neat little uh, just molded in solid purple plastic. You can paint it if you wish. Uh, version of SFX in camera mode, and it does have this little flip out peg on the bottom here that can be held by. Characters with uh, you know five, standard five millimeter pegs. Like here's Jazz. Uh, he's just the one I happen to bring in. And uh, you can see he can, hold, he can hold the peg in his hand. And uh, and you don't have to use the peg. You can have if you have characters like the uh, Thundercracker, like PE11, not PE11. The Masterpiece guys can probably hold him without having to use the peg. But any character can hold it, as you can see, and, and take portraits of their friends. It's nothing mind blowing, but it's a neat little extra. And it's kind of nice that they included that. So, just a little bonus uh, mini PE-11. On to the set itself, PE-12 uh, Salt Force X. It's a repaint, remold of uh, PE-11 Scouting Force X. And uh, and inside, you know, here's the box. It's red and black this time. There have been a couple different decos for a couple of the different decos for the toy. Um, and inside the box, uh, you get this standard assortment of all kinds of crazy accessories, as is the perfect effect way. Um, and you can see, instead of being the green and purple generic guys, uh, like from the cartoon, uh, th these are molded and painted with some really nice metallic paint. It's metallic red, green, blue, uh, some really nice details on these guys, nice paint, uh, remolded heads, they all have individual heads now, um, but painted, to, uh, painted and remolded to look like the original reflector toy versus the cartoon model. Um, it does come with, you know, it's just instruction sheets. Uh, nothing fancy here, just typical how you transform it. Uh, and then this is a little bonus on how to uh, combine the so appendix, just how to combine the uh, giant cannon for cannoneer. But yeah, um, really nice. We'll go ahead and get them out of here. But you get all, all the accessories that came before. You get the, uh, the three guns. Um, we'll go ahead and set those off to the side. You get the three robots themselves. In this case, it's Cannoneer, Cannoneer, Sniper, and Vanguard. Um, and like I said, they're really nice. They got some really nice shiny metallic paint. We'll get into some more, the more individualistic qualities on them. Uh, you get the uh, the lens, and it's it's solid black. Uh, here's an instance where I th where I really think the uh, Repro label silver lens will look really nice here. Uh, and I think some of the repro labels will look really nice on this. Maybe not all of them, but some of them certainly. Um, you get the flash slash shoulder weapons, the uh, riot shield, the stand slash gatling gun, uh, the camera slash shoulder pieces, and then the extensions for uh, sniper sniper rifle. Uh, all stuff that came with earlier versions of the mold. Um, and then the three knives and their holsters. Um, you get this little tiny holster here, and a little knife, and you can uh, take it and just slide the knife into the holster, and these can plug into the back of the robot right here. So everybody gets a little knife and holster on top of their other weapons, and they can be dropped just as easily as anything else. I threw it on the ground. Anyway, um, I'll go ahead and snap these together. Probably the easiest piece to lose if you're not careful is these little, not even the daggers, the little holsters for them. If they go flying and popping off, uh, have fun looking for those. So yeah, now we've got all the pieces out of the tray, finally! I'll go ahead and snap them together. So yeah, now everybody's armed up with their, with their daggers, their, their stabby knives. They're hunting knives, they're buoy knives, they're whatever they are. Stabity stab stab McGee. Um, here they are. And you can see on this guy they remolded his head. Let's see if we can get a zoom in here. 
to have the little button, you know, to represent the little button for the shutter, which is nice. Um, this guy's got a little bit more of a squarish head, and then he's got like the faceplate visor head. And here's here's where he is with his original counterpart, uh, and all three of them had the head, uh, the kind of generic head like this. So you can see they've got different heads this time around. So we'll go ahead and we'll arm them up with their signature uh, armaments here. We'll go ahead and give him the riot shield. And again, just really nice paint jobs on these guys. The, uh, the uh, me metallics really shine and really look cool. There you go. Riot shield. Right off the bat, we'll go ahead and pop this open. Come on, you. Slide these off. Come on. Oh, come on, you want to do it. You want to slide off. You want to come off of there. There you go. I'll pop these onto his shoulders. Give him his cannons. And then you take one of these guns and you attach the uh, extended barrel here, as well as the uh, scope. Just snaps right on here on the top. And this this can take a little bit of doing uh, to get this to stay on properly. There we go. And then just put that in his hand, and now he is all weaponed up. Who's going to weapon up? When the good guys are around and they want to go to town, who's going to weapon up the bad guys? Anyway. They'll blow you away. The assault squad. They'll weapon up again. Anyway. P.E. Assault Force X. Okay, enough. i got to stop singing the Superhero Squad song. Okay, so plug that in like that. Da -da 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 -da. This is a little tighter than before, previously, but that's okay. Because that's what she said. Anyway, um, put this on like this. Go ahead and bring his hand around. Give him his giant guns here, which makes him a little front heavy, which is okay because we're going to even that. We'll go ahead and crack this open. Oh, we'll go ahead and pop these off first. Da -da -da. And give him his backpack o doom. Just like this. And there are various configurations for the gun. I'm not going to go into all them all this time on him. But yeah, now he's got his weapons. Zoom in. And then he takes the uh, arm shields here. Oops, this way. And the other two guns. And here they all are armed up. Let me go ahead and get these in his hand. Come on, Walterbot, hold it. Pancakes are done. Anyway, so there they are. Uh... All weaponized up. Let's see if we can get a little closer in here. Whoa, look at that. I'm actually not on any uh, medication or anything tonight. I'm just being weird. Yeah, there they are. Um, and again, they look nice. They look cool. Uh, and they look different. Let's put them off to the side here. Uh, they're, they're definitely distinguished from their originals. Yeah, here is the same basic molds, the same weapons, and you can you can change the weapons around for different configurations. You don't have to do them exactly the same as the other ones. But just a quick look at them all together. And again, that one that the the other one has the Reaper label set. I might get a second Reaper label set just for a few of like the the uh, just for like this sticker and this shiny sticker. And maybe some, like the silver around here. Just some detail stickers. I may not use all of them, but put a few few detail stickers on here. 
uh, for the heck of it. Now, what's neat about Perfect Effect is uh, they always give you a way to store all the stuff. It's great when you transform into alt mode. So, like for example, his knife pops off, and you can just plug it right into there inside the shield. Same with his, we'll go ahead and pop his off and plug it inside the other shield. Just like this. And that will take his gun. So we pulled off his gun! Come out of the closet, Tom Cruise. Anyway, uh, and then you just plug him in here like this. Put that in one way. Put these in the opposite way. Now the original had a, had some issues with the barrel molding, where these would kind of like to sit at an angle. I haven't had that problem with either of the repaints. Um, even even my second version of uh, PE11, the original, didn't have that issue. So um, okay, clearly I've done these backwards. So we'll just turn them around. There we go. Once those are in, you can close this up around the guns, just like that, and then these little. Shield panels can plug right in. Come on. There we go. Well, why are you not snapping it? Should I go over here? There we go. Didn't realize those had a specific side, but apparently they do. So yeah, and then there's the lens assembly. Set that off to the side. I'll go ahead and pop his shoulder pieces off. And uh, snap them together. They're going to form the top of the camera here. Pull his gun apart. All right. Fold that down. Unpeg this. There we go. And then we're going to take his shoulder guns off. Shoulder launchers as well as uh, remove the uh, riot shield from his fist. Which is easier said than done. He's really got a grip on it. There we go. And we'll go ahead and flip these panels out here on the riot shield. These slide, you want to have this tab in the rear, the orientation of the, you want the silver on the front, like that, and like that, fold this up, flip that closed, and there is the flash. Uh, we'll take his knife off, and it's going to peg right up in here into the top of the shield. And take a minute to get this lined up since it is just a little tiny tab in there. Come on, there we go. Play that right in there. This piece right here sits right in. There's a little gap right there. Just peg that in right that. And then we take this and just set it right in here, like like this. Flip it over. Right in there, like that. And so now you got all those pieces stored. And now all the pieces are, are uh, all ready for camera mode. Really easy to transform them. You just flip these down. Now normally his, his pack was flipped up. Normally you could flip these down to fill in the lower body. Uh, they come flipped up. Um, and since this one's kind of stuck, I'm just going to leave it up. But you can, this back panel you can flip down to kind of fill in the lower abdomen a little bit if you so choose. But you do want to flip them back up if you, when you turn them into camera mode because you kind of push the fish up. That's kind of how you tell where the fists go, right up there like that. Snap the legs together, fold them up, arms go into the legs. And this guy, you turn his head around so you don't see his face anymore. And just kind of push it up against that, and that's going to be the little shutter button. This guy, it doesn't matter. You just, again, let's see, can he get his fold down? Now, these are really tight, and I just don't want to, I don't want to risk breaking them. But you can flip those down. I can just fold him up like that, take this cover, and cover up his face with it. You can see there's a little tab here in front of his head. And you just take this and plug it in, just like that. Same over here, exact same transformation. You don't, it doesn't matter, you don't have to turn his head around or anything. Just squeeze his legs together. Pull them up around the arms, and and there you go. And then you just take them, 
I'll turn them around so the leg, their legs are in the back. There's a little slot here. Peg these together. And again, the slot back here on his legs goes into the same slot on his upper body. Takes a little fiddling sometimes to get everything lined up properly. Uh, same over here. Slide those together. And then these three slots, you want to make sure the single one is in the front. There's two on the back, two in the front. Like this, and then these little slots right here tab up into the robots themselves. So again, just, just a matter of line, getting everything lined up. And then you just push these up to lock everything in place. They attach to the front of the robots here. There we go. There's the main body of the camera. You can see you know, his head is hidden and uh, functions as the shutter button. Plug in the lens. Put the flash over his face. And again, it's the same thing. There's a tab right here that plugs right into the front of his body. And there he is in camera mode. And then again, if you want to use this, you can open this up. And the stand plugs right into the bottom. And there he is in camera mode. Uh... And again, he's, he's painted and designed to look like the original reflector. Uh, the lens is a little longer, but, you know, whatever. But yeah, um, a really nice repaint. It's distinctive enough that I can recommend it on top of, of these guys. Uh, these guys are a great representation of the, uh, just visual-wise and design-wise, of the cartoon reflector with the three kind of generic-looking bots uh, that formed reflector. This one's more indicative of the toy, where they were red, blue, and green, and and look different. So it's really up to you, but uh, if you don't have any version of this mold, get one of them. This guy is just so awesome and fun and great. Um, and I, I, if, if it's this version, if it's the Shadow Ops version of the original guys, or if it's this PE-12, get a version of this mold. It is so much fun. I really honestly cannot recommend this mold enough. If I had a fire in my house and I could only grab one thing off the shelf, it would be one of these two sets. Whichever one I can get my hands on first. But I would save these guys. I love them. They're great. Uh, I cannot recommend this one, this, this set more highly, either one of these versions. But there it is, the PE-12 Assault Force X.